Legacy. Flan must back him. Have him swear by his God. There's nothing the Christians fear more than their almighty's wrath. It will be done. The hero's funeral. Aerith has become a greater man in death than he was in life. Or maybe we were too small to see his full size. A harsh truth. <laughs> but fair. He saw more clearly than I, and I ignored his counsel. Owen will pay for his death. What then? When the abbot is gone and you've tamed the north, what of Siegfried? Will you give him your royal support? When he has proven himself. It would not be good politics at this time. Trolls take your politics. Barith gave his life in your service. If this is how you repay loyalty, you'll be in short supply. Twice you stung me with truth. I'll return the favor. Siegfried isn't ready. But he could be, with proper teaching. Good. He'll benefit from your wisdom. And my support. But neither throne will be secure while Owen lives. We'll throttle the snake. And afterward... The fate of this land will be in your hands. Yours and Siegfried's. The horses are being made ready, my king. Sure you don't want to rest your bones and leave by dawn's light? My thoughts ride too rough for sleep. I have an army and reputation to reclaim. The second may prove harder than the first. My mother used to tell me how the Morrigan would feed on the death of heroes, then fill men's heads with thoughts of war. I imagined using the Tara Stone to drown out their song, the way Bishop Patrick drove the snakes from Ireland. There is no power strong enough to do what you say. Not even the gods can change fate. The world is destined to end in war. It was not but the fantasy of a young girl, so... <laughs> Tell Flon I'll come to him after I've arranged things with Siegfried. Tell him yourself. I'm not leaving yet. Eivor, we will march upon Armagh immediately. This place smells like a brewer's hut. I will blood eagle the abbot with my own hands. I will blanket the north with the skulls of petty kings. Enough! If you charge into a man like a berserker, they will crucify you like their Christ. I'm sorry to tell you, my king. The siege weapons you requested are being held by Armagh. Hell have that abbot. Those weapons were to be a show of the strength of Dublin's new king. 
Forget about shows of strength. Cast your fortunes with Flon. The High King will be a powerful ally if you back him now. Where are these weapons coming from? Who's supplying Amar? A shadowy web of pirates run by a druid cult. They roost along the northern coast, looting and trading in equal measure. These druids, do they call themselves the children of Danu? In fact, they do. Led by one they call the Seed. Now that you have their scent, I wish you a good hunt. If there is nothing more, my king, I will return to my shop. I will gather what forces I can wherever I can and join them to Flans. Together we will avenge my father. You have a strength that comes from him. When you find that, men will follow. Off we go. Let the sail out! spoke of. I must approach carefully. They will attack on sight here. Show me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Take round the side! Can't outrun me! So the abbot leads the children of Danu, both druid and bishop. What god will greet him at his death? Let's go. More 
sail! Sing us a song. Eivor, come in. Sigvrith tells me you've been hunting pirates in the north. Allies of Amma, providing weapons and other supplies. I've cut them off. God is truly with us. Owen is weakened, and will soon taste God's justice. Do you have the men to take Amma? We do, thanks to Sigfrith. He has rallied Vikings from every corner of Ireland. <laughs> How did you convince the Norse to fight for you? <laughs> I told them of a monastery full of silver to be looted. Your father would not have made such a promise. And he would not have raised as many men. We cannot win the goodwill of the people by destroying their homes. Or their church. But, my lord, these men came expecting a raid. If we deny if them If I may, that... I think in this case some burning might be useful. Tell me how. When we were attacked at Clother, Owen didn't stop there. He burned Cashelor as well, to send a message. It is our turn to light up the land with fire and smoke to let the people know that Amar has fallen. Burn what you must, but keep your warriors leashed. Kill only those who oppose us and spare the church. As you command, my king. There is something else. Abbot Owen leads the children of Danu. So, the poisoning, the ambush, they're all part of Owen's nefarious schemes. We'll cleanse our man of this unholy filth. Siegfried and I will prepare our men. Join me when you're ready. Choose a good view, dear poet. It'll be a battle for the ages. Thank you for not seeing anything about my past. The past is past, and not our future. I swear, Eivor, you really are like a hero out of folk tales. Do I have permission to sing your song? You do. Once I've had a chance to finish it. It's good to see you take command. It suits you. It feels heavy and stiff like this new armor. I envy you, Eivor. When battle is done, you can move on to what you like. I go where my destiny takes me, Siegfried. None of us are free from that. There are worse fates than being a king. <clears throat> Thor lends me strength. Our forces are replenished. Thank God's good grace. Some part of those thanks should go to Sigfrith, Lord. Aye. I'll not forget his role today. He's a good man, but he lacks his father's seasoning. 
Then you must show him what it is to lead, Lord, in the court and on the field. Come, let us flush out this false abbot without delay. Yes, Owen must answer for his actions. There are fewer defenders than I expected. They cower behind their walls. Let's strike while we have the advantage. We'll move forward, but remain alert. God will guide the right. God damn you! We have no other choice! Breach that gate! Coward! Shoot! Shoot! My northern are ready! Down. Smash Onward them and open! And across. He's a barbarian to me! Can't forget me straight!
Not the idiot down! 